Good evening again, Hirusha. I hope uh, we can start the lesson now. I hope you are ready. Uh, so last time in the last lesson, last week, uh, we did this activity in your pupil's book under the unit two. We started activity 2.1. So there we read uh, what Yasit and Jeevaka was talking. And then I think I asked you to do this activity 2.2, the part A as well as part B, to try at home, All right? So I hope uh, you would have had some time to go through it. Uh, so shall we discuss the answers for this, uh, Hirusha? Okay, teacher. Right, okay, so if we consider this activity 2.2, part A, are the following statements true or false, right? So we need to find whether this, these given statements are true or false, which means whether these are correct or incorrect, right? So the first one is, Yasit said that the program was not interesting. Right, so Hirusha, as you can remember, is this true or false? Answer is false. Yes, very good. So it is false. Why? Can you say why it is false? Uh... Yes, it is. Yes, it. Uh, yes, it would what very in, in interesting program. Yes, so yes, it said that it was a very interesting program, right? So since he said it was a very interesting program, the first given sentence is false, right? So you can write as false. Right, next, the second sentence. Yasit had heard earlier the names of all the birds that were shown in the program. Is it true or false? False. False. Okay, so why do you say that it is false, Hirusha? No teacher. Right. So here in this conversation here, Yasit says, this was the first time I've heard the names of certain birds. So Yasit says that this is the first time. Palaveni Bharata Tama Mama Me Samahara Kurulangi Nam Matanam Ahenni. Right? So, Yasit had heard. Yasit had heard earlier the names of all the birds that were shown in the program. Program Make a tama, mama, mulma para, samahara, kurulange, nam a hitcher. It will take ya nenisa. Dilatiana statement, take a varadi. So we have to select it as false. Right. Third one. Kagu is a flightless bird. Is this correct or wrong? Uh, Hirusha? Yes, teacher. Third sentence. So in the third sentence, now we have to find whether this is true or false. Kagu is a flightless bird. Is it yes, teacher. Uh, true. Kagu is a flightless bird. Oh, 
yes so it is true why because it is given here that here it, uh, they are talking about kagu and he says yes you mean the kagu it's sad that it can't fly so it can't fly means uh, it is a flightless bird right okay good so fourth one Jeevaka's sister is a member of the school zoologists association is this true or false uh true true okay let's see right so here jivaka says this is my sister's scrapbook she is a member of the school zoologists association right so yes jivaka says that her sister is a member of the school zoologist association so that is true right good last one Jeevaka has many scrapbooks on different types of animals. Is this true? False. False. So why do you say it is false? Uh Jeevaka has many scrapbook on different type of animal. Uh, it is false. Yes, it is false. Why it is false? Why do you say that it is false? Um, many scrapbook has uh, Jeevaka's sister. Yes, very good. So you need to say it is Jeevaka's sister who has a lot of uh, scrapbooks on animals, right? So yes, it is Jeevaka's sister, right? So in that case, Jeevaka has many scrapbooks on different types of animals. This is false, right? Okay, good, right? Okay, so let's move on to the part B of the same activity. So here, what do we have to do? Match the following words. So we are given some words or phrases with their meaning. So we have been given some words or phrases and we have, given, we have been given meaning. So we need to find which word matches with the meaning which meaning is actually is related to the word right so the first one it is crest so Yerusha, can you let me know uh, how we are going to match this crest so what is the meaning of crest no teacher you don't remember what we discussed last time? Crest ka kya lada mama kiuve? Kurulange olua udati ye na kya la? Kurulange olua udati ye na wa? Piha. Mataka hi kare pende ko tu sir. Anna right. So out of this given five, what would be the matching one? Which meaning gives that exact idea? Me di la tiye ne wa in koye ke da ek ek na kya venne. Answer, uh, answer three. Yes, very good. So that is answer three. Right? So crest means a growth of feathers at the top of a bird's head. Right? Kuru legge olua uda. Piha tuwali. Babi latiyane e kota saratama ki anne. Crest. Yalapi. Singhaling pende kiela kiena. So that is what we mean by crest. Okay, next one. I'm sure you know this. Flightless. Which one? Answer uh, 
Number four, not able to fly, able to. Yes, very good. So flightless means not able to fly. Right. Third one, migrant. Do you remember? We discussed who is a migrant bird. Answer for you. Yes, very good. Migrant means a bird or an animal that travels regularly from one part of the world to, to another, right? And a Sanchara Kuru Loki and me, a cake a kale and kale take, winner at all well in the la pirata, a piratin and savaratal, a himayana, a katamakiane, migrant, right? Fourth one, scrapbook. Do you know what is the meaning of scrapbook? Uh, answer is one, a collection of pictures and articles and extra. Yes, very good, right? So scrapbook means a collection of pictures and articles, etc. Right, good. So the last one, it is easy. Now you have only one answer. Yes, you can try. Uh, ornithologist. Yes, ornithologist means. Answer to a person who studies about birds. Yes, ornithologist means a person who studies about birds. Right? Okay, good. So I think you got all correct in those exercises. So that is good. Right. Okay, and then we will move on to the workbook, right? So I hope you have your workbook. So in the workbook, uh, we have in the page eight, we start the unit two. So in unit two, we have activity one, right? But I'm not expecting to do this activity here. Right, so what we will have to do in activity one, we will have to get into groups, copy the following diagram in six papers, find information about the following birds and complete the diagrams, right? So we need to, you, you may, since we do not have groups, it is okay, you can do this by yourself. You will have to write, you will have to find details about these uh, birds and then you need to complete their details here right okay so this one maybe you may not be able to do it right now right so what do we mean by these different words? We'll learn about that first, right? So we need to find information of bird. You need to draw this kind of a picture. In the middle, you need to have the name of the bird. And then you have to find what is that bird's color in general, right? And then we will have to find, let's say, physical features. So if we look at that bird, how does it look? Right? Physical features can then apigato, kudgale, kato, tosada, mahatada, sududa, kaluda, vivida deva lapiki and one, and eva ge kurulange, monavage. Vishesh Deval the Tin. Kurulange and Gatam Himaluk what a Mahatai can be kodi the loku the Ilangata. Eva ke yam yam deval hota digger the hota kota the eva ke deval tama physical features again api kena gana ho kena ho a sata diha balapu hama api the penena deval monad right and then food what they eat monad ekolo kani right and there can be I will go here habitat so what do we mean by habitat that means the place where they live. Right, api habitat kiyanne e samane kiyana satwa kottasha 
කොහෙද ජීවත් වෙන්නේ කියන එක. ඒ කියන්නේ අපිට උදාහරණයක් වශයෙන් ගත්තොත් අලි ජීවත් වෙන්නේ කැලෑවල් වල. ඒ වගේ කුරුල්ලෝ එක එක පැති වල ඉන්නවා. ඒතර මේ කියන කුරුල්ල කොයි පැත්තේ දින්නේ කියන එක තමයි අපි කියන්නේ. හැබිටට් කියන්නේ මේක අපි කියන්නේ හැබිටට්. කියන්නේ කොහෙද මේ සත්තු ඉන්නේ බෝ වෙන්නේ එහෙම කියන එක තමයි එතන ඉන්නේ. ඊට අමතරව මොනා හරි ඔයාට යම් යම් තොරතුරු හොයා ගන්න පුළුවන් නම් ඒක තමයි මෙතනට එන්නේ other special features packs right vena vishesha e satage tiyana lakshan right so these are the five types of information you need to find right me vistara paha tama hoya ganna ona right so i have done one for you right mama ekak karala tiyenawa so first one uh, i did it for the ceylon jungle fowl right සිලෝන් ජංගල් ෆවුල් කියලා අපි කියන්නේ අපි සිංහලෙන් කියනවා වලි කුකුලා කියලා right and කට්ටු කෝලි කියලා ඒක තැමිල් වලින් කියනවා so වලි කුකුලා right මම හිතන්නේ ඕගොල්ලෝ දන්නවා ඇති වලි කුකුලා කියන්නේ කවුද කියලා so i have found information about it so as i said first we need to talk about their color right so පාට ගැන තමයි අපිට මේ මෙතන මේ රවුමේ කතා කරන්න තිබ්බේ. එතකොට මම හොයපු මට හොයා ගන්න පුළුවන් වෙච්ච මේවා හැටියට it says ගැහැණු සහ පිරිමින්ගේ පාටවල් වෙනස්. right? so males they have reddish orange to yellow in color. right? males are reddish. ඒ කියන්නේ reddish කියන්නේ රතු පාටට හුරු කියන එක. මේ මෙතන තියෙන්නේ reddish රතු පාටට හුරු තැඹිලි. right reddish orange ratu paata ta huru tambili to yellow right so tambili ratu paata ta huru tambili wennat puluwan nattan kaha paata wage paatak tama pirimi wali kukulanta tiyenne right and when it comes to females different shades of brown in color brown kiyanne dumburu paata dumburu paate vividha wenas ekinekata wenas පාටවල් තමයි තියෙන්නේ. يعني දුඹුරු පාටම තමයි අපි කියන්නේ තද දුඹුරු, ලා දුඹුරු ඒ වගේ විවිධ පාට තියෙනවනේ. අන්න ඒ වගේ විවිධ පාටවල් වෙන්න පුළුවන් ගැහැණු සතු. right. and then uh, next one was uh, physical features. අපි ඒ සතා දිහා බලපුවහම. so you can see here the males they have a crest. right. so i think you remember the word crest. ඔලුවෝඩ පාරවල් තම තියෙන්නේ right the next one is what do what do they eat මොනවා දෙයාලා කන්නේ so what they eat is plant matter ඒ කියන්නේ ශාකමය දේවල් තම ආහාර වලට ගන්නේ such as grain seeds berries flowers leaves and buds right ඒ කියන්නේ ශාකමය දේවල් වලින් හැදිච්ච දේවල් තමයි කන්නේ කියලා තමයි කියන්නේ ඊට අමතරව තව තැනක මට හම්බුණා invertebrates such as termites crickets beetles and centipedes right මෙතන තියෙනවා invertebrates ඒ කියන්නේ පොඩි පොඩි කුරුමිනියෝ වගේ පොඩි පොඩි සත්තු such as termites crickets beetles centipedes right so what do we mean by termites right termites kiyala api kiyanne ara veyo kiyala kiyanne sinhalen veyama dannwa neda anna e veyo thama termites kiyanne yes teacher right so termites kiyanne etota dan me wali kukula veyama kanawa right and then what we have is 
crickets right so this cricket is not uh, what uh, the people eat right uh, sorry it is not uh, what the people play right what teacher so this cricket cricket kiyanne here dannawa da kawuda me crickets kiyanne metana api gahana cricket newe metana crickets kiyanne samanne thana kola petta wage inna satwa kottashayak inna thana kola petta mat newe e wage nikan dumburu paata wage satyek inna thana kola petta wage an e satata tama kiyanne cricket kiyala right and then we have the beetle right so what do we mean by a beetle do you know who is a beetle no teacher right beetle kiyanne ara kuruminiyo inne ara ratu paata kuruminiyo inne kalu paata tith wage thiyena anna e wage kurumini vishesha thama beetles kiyanne right yes teacher okay the next one is centipedes right metana me vachane me thiyenne centipedes right c e n t i p e d e s centipedes uh api centimeter kiyanne etoda centimeter ekak kiyanne centimeter kiyadda mokadda teacher meter ekak kiyanne centimeter kiyadda वालिकुकुल शाकमेवाड़ी सत् राइट सो दी साध things which they eat right and then we move on to let's say habitat right man ko habitat kiyanne e gollo inne koheda bo wenne koheda anna eka thama so i was able to find that they live in forests and coastal scrub to mountain rain forests or cultivated areas forests kiyanne kalawal wala right kalawal wal innama coastal scrub coastal kiyanne muhudu thireya kiyana eka ekana muhudu aine ekana muhuda berala thireyata sambandhava thiyena scrub kiyanne nikan podi podi landu kala thiyenne anne muhudu badawa thiyena landu kala e wage wal indan ඊළඟට මවුන්ටන් රේන් ෆෝරස්ට්ස් ඒ කියන්නේ රේන් ෆෝරස්ට්ස් කියන්නේ සිංහ රාජ වගේ අර ඒක ෆෝරස්ට්ම නෙවේ ඒක රේන් ෆෝරස්ට් කියන්නේ ඒවායි අපිට වතුර එනවා ඒ නිසා අපිට වර්ෂා වෙනවා එතකොට ඒ වගේ සිංහ රාජ වගේ ඒවා කැලෙවල් වලට වඩා විශේෂයි අන්න ඒවා තමයි මවුන්ටන් ෆෝරස්ට්ස් ඊළඟට කල්ටිවේටඩ් ඒරියාස් කල්ටිවේටඩ් ඒරියාස් කියන්නේ මිනිස්සු වවපු ඒරියාස් ඒ කියන්නේ ඒගොල්ලන්ට ඒ තැන් වල කෑම හම්බෙනවනේ එතකොට ඒ වලට තම කල්ටිවේටඩ් ඒරියාස් කියන්නේ රයිට් සෝ 
the Ceylon jungle fowl, they may live in forests, coastal scrub, in rainforests or rails, cultivated areas. Just give me a minute. Okay, already okay, I understood. I take this screen screenshot. Teacher? Uh, yes, sorry, I just had to go away. I'm to Right, hurry. Uh, so we will continue, right? Okay, then uh, the last one was other features, right? So we need to define different other special features. Anikud, Vishesha Lakshana. So let's see what I found. Uh, they always scratch the ground for food. They can go scratching kiyanne pahuru gaana wa kiya lapi kiyanne polava pahuru gaana. Right? They go lo kiyama hoya agani ima pinisa polava pahuru gaana. Always scratching the ground for food. And then the next special feature is female lays two to four eggs on nests. Right? Gehanu sattu samanin kuduaka bitara dekak ho hatarak dan makatama kiani female lays two to four eggs on nests. Right? And these nests, which are abandoned by other birds or squirrels, again, anit kurulo ho lenu atarala dapu, abandoned kiani atarala dapu. Right? Atarala dapu, kuduala, tama bittara dane. Right? So, Hirusha, is everything clear here to you? Anything you want me to explain more? Yes, teacher, I'm very clear. Right. Okay, good. Right. So, like this, you need to find information of the remaining five, right? So you have Ceylon Rufus Babbler, Demilicha, Ostrich, Swan, Eagle, Hanging Parrot, right? Ostrich, what do you want to know? Yes, very good. And Swan? Hansaya? Yes, very good. And eagle? Uh, eagle is ukusa. Yes, very good. And hanging parrot? Uh, parrot is single meaning of girava. Uh, what is teacher hanging parrot? Yes, so it is again a kind of a parrot, but it has different colors. Then apidana is amanya giravekyu tiene kola pata i at monada tiene hota ratu pata hemane me hanging parrot killer kino ayalagi godak vela vata me uh atta to nil pata gati atti andava saha egolo are the salmon and gira in the body will any attack could make a little him a mat never make a little lava get thin now about luini and never get a little thin in no some hard will have a take a hundred amount of hanging key and elena key and a canny hanging bridge key what the lena palama and never get hanging parrot kill at an amadala tina at the mayat a gira on give a shack tama cola part of hotel ratu part i have a Yagatiyanama samahara atta tunil paata ekkama samaanning yaa kiamati illi laa inna. 
right are love bird la kiyana kurullo the teacher na love birds lama neve giraungema vishesha ha teacher right eken lankawe attatama me wa hoyala balanna me samanyen singha raja e wage kalewal wala inna right samanyen godak නිතර වෙලේ අපිට බලන්න දකින්න ලැබෙන්නේ නැහැ. ඒ කියන්නේ සාමාන්‍යයෙන් අපේ ඉන්න ගෙවල් වල නාගරික ප්‍රදේශවල ගොඩක් කට්ටිය ඉන්න ගම් වල එහෙම නැහැ. ඒගොල්ලෝ ගොඩාක් ඉන්න ගොඩක් වෙලාවට කැලේවල් වල තමයි. right? so what you have to do is you need to find information about these five and fill this uh, diagram. right? so me කුරුල්ල පස් දෙනා ගැන විස්තර දැන් මම ඔයාලට පළවෙනි එක කරලා පෙන්නුවා. ඒ වගේ අනිත් අය ගැන විස්තර හොයන්න right so this you can do as a homework gedara wadak widiyata hemming sirve karanna karala ibara unahama mata eka api eka discuss karamu right then sena surada weddima karala thiyenna onna mokada metena godak vistara thiyena ne hoyanna welawa aragena thawa satiyaki hitara wage api balamu hoa gat oata hoa ganna mona hari bari prashnayak thiyena nan e tika mata kiyanna etawata man oata vistara hoyala denna right So you can do this as a homework. Take your time and do it as a homework, right? And uh, next, it uh, says find information about one of the above words and prepare a pamphlet including colorful pictures. Present your pamphlet to other groups and share your findings, right? So me thana kya ne apita. උඩ කියලා තියෙන ඔය කුරුල්ලෝ ගැන ඔය දැන් අපි හොයපු විස්තර සහ තව විස්තරත් ඇතුළත්ව හදන්න කියන පොඩි පොතක් right so what do you mean by pamphlet p a m p h l e t pamphlet يعني පොඩි පොතක් අර අපි කියන්නේ පොත් පිංචක් කියලා පොඩි පොත් අන්න ඒකකට තමයි කියන්නේ pamphlet right so you need to know what is a pamphlet i have just shown here couple of examples right so me thiyenne e wage hadapu pamphlet e kene mama me internet eke wena aya hadapuwa gatte ara apita kiyala thiyena kurullange vistara sahitawa e gollonge pintura sahitawa me wage podi potak hadanna kiyala thama kiyanne right so you need to find information e kurullo gana vistara hoyanno ne e kurullange lassana pintura hoyanno ne ite passe ewa tika ekata alawala eke ekata tangala dala lassanata me wage piliwalata hadanna right so this also uh, you can do me kattara aniwaren karanna ehema kiyala ganna oya kamathi widiyata oya kurullanta kamathi nattang oya wena mona hari vishesha sattwa kottashayata kamathi nang e gollo hari camp ganna tamanna මේ විදියට පොඩි එකක් වෙලාව තියෙන වෙලාවක හදන්න බලන්න right but the main thing is you need to understand this word pamphlet ඒ කියන්නේ අපි pamphlet කියන එකෙන් අදහස් කරන්නේ මේ වගේ ඒ විවිධ සත්තු ගැන විස්තර සහ ඒගොල්ලෝගේ රූප තියෙන පොඩි පොත් පිංචකට තමයි කියන්නේ pamphlet කියලා right so there also you can do it as a free work වට කැමති විදියකට ඒක කරන්න පුළුවන් right okay so we will quickly go through this exercise so this is a crossword right so what we need to do read the clues given and complete the puzzle right so meka tapi kiyanne singhalen prahelikawak neda so that is what we called as a puzzle or we can say a crossword yes we can call it as a puzzle or else we can call it as a crossword puzzle as well right crossword puzzle e kenne meke diga athata wachana thiyenawa usa athata wachana thiyena ek ek pathi walata thiyena handa meka tapita kiyanna puluwa crossword puzzle kiyala right so we are given some hints across across kiyala me ithale dala ki thiyena e kenne menna me diga athata තියෙන වචන වලට අපිට ඒ වචනේ මොකද්ද කියලා හොයා ගන්න දෙන උපකාරක විස්තර තමයි මේ දීලා තියෙන්නේ across so if it is one so that means this hint or මේ දීලා තියෙන උපකාරක පදය උපකාරක විස්තරය 
අපිට අදාළ කරගන්න ඕනේ පළවෙනි එක ඉලක්කම එක තියෙන එකේ හරහට තියෙන වචනය පුරවා ගන්න. එතකොට ඩවුන් කියන්නේ පල්ල හැට දැන් මෙතන එක තියෙනවා මොකද මෙතන මේ පැත්තටත් තියෙනවා මේ පැත්තටත් තියෙනවා. එතකොට එක හරහට එක පහලට දෙවිදියටම තියෙනවා. right so we will try to do it together right api eka ekatu wela karamu mage gawa thiyenawa eka man hadala right okay uh, first one so first across menna pal eka harahata the largest flightless bird in the world loke inna lokuma piyabanna bari kurulla kawuda kiyala ahan Uh, can you guess hirosha ostrich yes ostrich right kasbara yata api hatu tiyenawa habai yata piyabanna bah right and then the second word threatened with extinction so what do we mean by threatened with extinction kiyanne थर्ड with extinction ek yani am kisi vandavi gena yana kurullekta api e golloma handunwana vachanayak dannawada no teacher right okay so it's okay this is a little bit difficult that is endanger endanger right so that is endanger right so you can see two across endangered e n d a n g e r e d right endangered right endangered kiyanne e vishesha sat nam kisi kotta satta kotta ashak wanda bi gena yamata lak wena wagena right okay uh, and then uh, we have to find මම උත්තර ටික මෙහෙම පේන්නම තියන්නම් මේක ටිකක් අමාරුයි ඒක නිසා the common name for the ceylon loriquet right ceylon loriquet කියලා ඉංග්‍රීසියෙන් කි අපි හඳුන්වන කුරුල්ලාගේ සිංහල නම තමයි අහන්නේ right ඔයා මේක ඉන්ටර්නෙට් එකේ සර්ච් කරලා බලුවොත් ceylon loriquet කියන එකට that is the same as hanging parrot අර අපි ඉස්සලා කතා කරේ හැංගින් පැරට් ගිර වගේ විශේෂ කොට්ටාශයක් කියලා අන්න ඒක ඒ සත්ව කොට්ටාශයට තමයි කියන්නේ සිලෝන් ලොරිකට් රයිට් සෝ වී හැව් ටු රයිට් හියර් හැංගින් පැරට් H A N G I N G P A R R O T රයිට් ඇන්ඩ් දෙන් 5 අක්‍රොස් හියර් the long feathers on the back of bird form this e kane kurullage pasu pasa pradeshaye tiyena diga pihatu walin hadena deyak tama apita metana liyanna kiyanne e mokadda piti passe tiyena samanyen sattunge baligaya right so that is what we have to write here tail right t a i l tail right and down we will start with the first one a scientist who studies birds meka dannawa neda hirosha a scientist who studies yes, birds yes yes teacher anita ji yes very good so a scientist who studies birds or anita logist so that is what i have written written here or anita logist fourth one so four down sweet juice taken by bees butterflies from flowers e kiyanne mal walin kurullo saha mi messo ganna mi pani kiyanne anna e mi pani walata english walin kiyanne mokakda dannawada 
මල් පැණි වලට ඉංග්‍රීසි වලින් කියන්නේ අ නෙක්ට yes so you can see here right මෙතන මල් ලියලා තියෙනවා නෙක්ට right අපි අර බොන්නේ නෙක්ටෝ අන්න ඒ වගේ තමයි ඒ වගේ මේකේ තියෙන නෙක්ට n e c t a r right and number 6 අංක 6 පහලට where a bird lays its eggs and takes care of its young kurullo bittara daanne koheda nest kooduwaka kooduwa yes so api kooduwa english walin kiyanne nest n e s t right and the last one seven down a large and white aquatic bird what do you mean by aquatic bird aquatic bird kiyanne kawuda no teacher right so do you know what do we mean by aqua aqua kiyanne mokadda ुरे वचन मत का right okay that's good so ostrich ekane loke inna lokuma piyambanna bari kurulla tama ostrich nattang pasbara threatened with extinction ekane wanda wigimata lakunai kiya lak wena kiyala apita kiyanne endangered so wanda wigimata lak wena kurulla kiyuwot an endangered bird kiyala tama kiyanne an endangered bird uh common name for ceylon lorikett it is hanging parrot and long feathers on the back of bird from back of bird form this it is the tail and ornithologist we know it and nekta nekta kiyanne mal pani and birds lay eggs in a nest and swan is a bird who is large white and he is living around water right so i hope uh, you understand all these words right so with that we will end the lesson for today right sorry i think i have gone up so we will end uh, the lesson today right so on saturday we will do another few activities right so maybe we will read this right so in activity 2.3 in the pupils book we have to read about birds a lot apita metana kurullo keepayakage vistara deela thiyena api senasurada me tika kiyawama right dan ada brahaspatin da senasurada thawa dawas dekak thiyenawa චුට්ටක් බලන්න මේ ටික ඔයාලට කියවන්න පුළුවන් දෙකලා අපි මේ ටික කියවලා මේ වගේ වගුවක මේ විස්තර ටික දාන්න තමයි ඕනේ හැබැයි අපි මේන්ලි විස්තර මේකට දාන එක වගේම මේ කියවලා මේක තේරුම් ගන්න එක තමයි වැදගත් ඒක හඳ අපි සෙනසුරාදට මේවා එකින් එක කියවලා වචන වල අමාරු වචන වල තේරුම් අපි වෙන වෙනම කතා කරමු හැබැයි gedaradi මේක පොඩ්ඩක් කියවන්න try කරන්න right so you can try because I'm not going to read. Mama kiya vanna. Mama meka dena. Oya ata kiya vanna. Varadi na tanti yena vanna. Mama kiya la dena. So it is you who are going to read it, right? So when we read it, as I said, we need to know what we read. 
So we have to read it before we read it to someone else. You think it's already put the key of a put the way line up. Thank you. The key of a lot than that. You watch another a key again. Right. So that is what we are going to do on Saturday. So you have a homework to read, to try to read and get ready. Right. Okay, so with that, I think we can end the session for today. So, are all clear, Hirusha? Yes, teacher. I'm clear for today lesson. Thank you. Right. Good night. Very good. Yes, we will meet on Saturday. Good night and take care. Take care, teacher. You too. Thank mm -hmm. you.